Hi guys and welcome to a video tutorial about this. As you can see, things are happening around in the background. As you can see, we have links in the description below and links below text and we have ask in the comments below and thank you for watching. And we can also do this thing and we can jump over to let which one should we go let's take this one that's this fine and then we have this one and we have this one i haven't really written anything in here we have this one here this one we can also jump here back and here and let's actually change the take thank you Ooh, thank you for watching into links in the description below of the video what i'm currently showcasing for you is an automated setup with a Elgato stream deck here where you are changing the text and the wallpaper that you're talking from to make it faster to make your video, whatever form of video that you're making. So for example, here I could be saying, if you wanna take a look at this gameplay video, there's a link in the description below of the video. And there's just a few keys I need to click to set up this background so I can talk about this video, for example. And the moment I want to say bye, I just click one key on the stream deck. And as you can see, the text is changing as I'm just clicking one button. So let's move over to this place so you can look at things inside vMix. Behind me, you can see a million of me in various different wallpapers that I can all control and jump around between using my Elgato Stream Deck because I have been hotkeying it up like so. Now let's move over to icon and the text, the red section here. And here we have my focus right, the microphone first thing. Then we have thank you for watching. And if I bring up here, you can notice that that text Take, look at that thing is changing the green one and let's go back here and let's also change the red one that the next one or pink purple I doesn't matter what color you are so what I have here is also a bunch of hotkey setups where I can change the text inside those inputs another trick in doing this is basically create a bunch of new inputs so we go to add input go to title go to text and then we create a new text and we write something cool in there and then suddenly here i have that thing and you can just use this overlay system tricks to put it on to the screen but this will create a lot of different inputs and will basically fill up your entire workspace and it could be a little bit tricky navigating through all over your section here. So I think it's easier and cleaner to basically just have hotkeys and change the input text however you want it to change. And then if we go back to my yellow one here, wallpapers, and we click this thing and we click on the cogwheel, let's look what's inside the cogwheel. We look at layers and multi view. And here I have first up myself. This is my the, the camera that you're seeing me with. And then we have text. And then we have another text icon, which is basically grabbing the two text files over here and using them inside this one. And as you can see, I have a new variation where I am using the this video layer that I can change to basically put here. And then I have this one that is, that is using the pink text and then grabbing whatever I have in that input. The hotkey that you're looking for to change the text, as you can see up there that is changing, is go to settings. Then you go to shortcuts, you click on add. The function you're looking for can be found inside a title and the function name is set text. And then you just select the input text you wanna affect. So let's click that one, message text and subscribe to my channel. And that is the text you're gonna showcase to your viewers if you click on that hotkey now. So if, for example, we want to mention a different video inside our video, all that we need to go is go over to this input, click on the cogwheel, click change, and then go browse. And then on my desktop, I've already downloaded a video that I've previously made on my YouTube channel, automated outros with vMix for faster editing. And open and OK, and suddenly, oops, 
that is the video that is now in that input instead. I basically just replaced it, but kept all the existing settings. So if you go over here, you can notice that suddenly it's appearing right here. Because if we go to the cog wheel, we go to multi layers, we can find here that on the number nine here, it is already set on the input 24. So whatever I change input 24 to, that is going to appear inside this one. So if we jump over here, suddenly the video is being played and let's also change to so that links in the description below of the video and I can also jump a little bit inside this video to showcase various things from it. And I can also, if I want in to, house. then I have in transition in going in, add sounds from that video. And the same thing, if I wanna change the logo, I can basically just change this one and that is also going to affect that input over there. And with the multi-layer system that WeMix have, you can really change how you want your text to appear. For example, in this wallpaper, this paper background, I have the, that text over there and that text down here. However, in this wallpaper background, I'm centered more towards the middle and the texts are in other various locations. And it can look really good as you're moving throughout your video. For example, you could begin the video with this, showcasing what you're gonna talk about, mentioning in text, welcome to a video tutorial about vMix. And you just click one button as you continue talking, suddenly appear here in a beautiful transition way. Let me also just showcase how you're moving smoother throughout your production as you're clicking on your different wallpaper hotkeys. So shortcuts, then as you can see, I have merge and that duration of one second, which is gonna create that smooth over merging effect inside vMix. If you replace, if you, for example, if I double click here and I change merge to cut, it's gonna go faster. But I, I prefer merge, but this is where your personal style could go into place what you personally prefer. This was a vMix video tutorial about multi-layers, about shortcuts, about text titles, and how to maybe improve your workflow. Or maybe you could call this a video about how I utilize vMix and some trips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and take care. If you have any questions regarding anything you've seen inside this video, please leave a comment below and I will try my very best to answer your question. Take care.